Hey, what's up? All right, we're live. We're, we're recording. What's up, man? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm good, man. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> 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 you got that job, yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> I see you got the fresh haircut and everything. Okay, you gotta go party. Okay, okay, okay. You know, we have okay. to represent. We have to represent. That's what's up, man. Yo, you know when you told me, you know when you told me, I was just like, wait, what? What did he just? Because I had to read, like literally, I had to read the text message like twice. I was like. Did he just say what I think he just said? Like, yo, he got a job. I was like, oh, no. Right. Yo, yo, this is crazy. Yo, so I when know. did you, like, when did you do, yo, tell me, tell me what, tell me what happened. Like, how did you get that phone call? Like, what happened? Hello? I can hear you now. All right, cool. Yeah, you were paused there for a second. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so so how did I, how did you get that phone call? Tell me, man. I mean, like, they, they, I mean, they, I was supposed to have had the interview with them in July, but then, like I told you, they were going on, two of their hiring managers were, were going on, on, on vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so you, would have got, you would have got this in July, like, long time ago. Right. So... Um, we um so we pushed it to like late July, when 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 they came back, nice. and then I mean, honestly, my attitude that day I was just on an attitude of, okay, <laughs> I've been to like, I've been I I've, I've I've already been to like six rejections, right, and, and like every single one of them I recorded them, so I just listened to all the interviews. Got you. You know, really mastered my my mastered my resume. Everything, every line I, I put on, I put on that resume, I mastered how to talk about it. Nice. And um, so, I mean, my attitude that morning was like, man, I have nothing to lose, man. Like, nice. I'm just gonna go and just be a human being. Yeah. Wait, wait. Well, let's talk about that though. Like those six rejections, right? Because. Right. You know, it, like a lot of people are gonna watch this video, man. A lot of people are gonna be inspired by your by your story, man. So hey, share the details, man. Like those six those six rejections, like how are you feeling? Like when you get rejected? I mean, like a couple of them, you know of it. There was yeah. one that was really yeah. bad. Yeah. That, was, yeah. that was one that was really, really bad. Um I mean I literally froze up in an interview and then the final interview question, I actually told them, Look, I'm nervous, I don't even know what I'm saying. I said those words in an interview. Whoa! Right? <laughs> serious? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was that bad. I mean, oh, there was an, there was an interview that was that bad. But then there were there were other. I was like, they went really good, and then I was surprised when I got rejected. So, but regardless, nice. regardless, nice. I always recorded them. I always recorded them so nice. I can go back and, you know, listen to it again and listen to the type of questions they ask me because they always seem to be asking me questions directly for my resume. Nice. So I'm like, okay, I need to learn every resume. I need to learn everything, different angles of questions that they could ask me. I've gone through all of them and be very meticulous. Nice. So... When that interview came, I was just like, look, anything on that resume, I can talk about it. So nice. I just need to relax. I have nothing to lose. I don't, I mean, I can't lose, lose what I don't have. Right? <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, I got to the interview. They were, they were asking me really technical questions, and I what was kind of, answering what it. Kind of, what kind of technical questions were they asking you? So they were asking me questions like, um, you know, because I I directed them. I told them I'm good at I do performance tuning, backups, and upgrades. Nice. Okay, so that pretty much gave them the only three angles to ask me questions from. 
Right. You know, because so I made sure I said that at the beginning of the interview to kind of set the tone yeah, for the type yeah, of questions yeah. you asked. <laughs> nice. You know, because I realized that some interviews, when I didn't do that, then they asked me any question from anywhere, anyhow. Right. And I'm like, ah, oh, no, I need, so I needed to direct their questioning. Nice. And then, so they, all their questions, most of their questions came from those three angles. Nice. And I was able to just answer them. Nice. And then the rest of the interview was just a conversation, really. Okay, and so then, the, people that, the people that were interviewing you, were they, were they mostly Indians or were they, who, who, who were they? So one, 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 one lady had been a DBA for 37 years. She was the one who directly, yeah. 37 years? So she's, she, she, has, she has been doing 37, 37. Whoa. Right. She Whoa. has been with that company as a DBA, doing other things for 37 years. And so, I mean, she had a lot of technical questions. I mean, she has been using Oracle since version four. Yee. Yeah. So, you know, when she was asking me about performance tuning, she asked me a question like, oh, have you ever used TK Pro? I'm like, nah, I don't know about TK Pro. Um, we only use, I only use Oracle. Um, Enterprise manager, she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. I was like, yeah, anything I want to do, I, I just use AWR. She's like, yup, yup, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. So I just completely skipped all that. I didn't like try to get into TK Prof or what yeah. I knew of TK Prof. Nice. I was like, yeah, I'm an old head. She's an old head. I'm like, yeah, you know. So we just kind of like shifted that question. We're like, whoop, just nice. dodge the bullets because I know nothing about TK Prof. Nice. Um, nice. But wait, wait. So but then, I mean, uh -huh. That was after the first interview. Uh, pretty much that same day, they called me back and told me they want me to meet with the CIO the next week. Oh, this is in Ohio. It's in Ohio, yeah. It's, okay. in, it's, 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 it's in Cincinnati. Nice, so, nice. Yeah, yeah, so I'm like, oh, with the CIO, okay. So, and then. What I did was the night before I, I met with the CIO, I looked at him and um, looked at all his interests. Gotcha. And basically, we just talked about his interests that I looked up on, on, on LinkedIn. Nice. He had some questions about security and like storage for me. Right. Like some very, like he, he, he asked me to explain um, in layman's terms, he said, explain, uh, what was that question again? Uh, I'm trying to remember what the question was. Was it Oracle related? Um, it's almost there. It's almost... Hold on. Oh, yeah. Like primary key to a layman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Key. Key. No, no. Explain what a composite primary key is. Composite really? <laughs> huh? He asked you about primary. Uh -huh. key. He asked you about primary key. Yeah, he said no. Yeah, a, a composite primary. And explain it in layman's terms. Okay. So, if you are talking to someone who has no idea what to do, how would you explain it? Okay. So I was like, well. If you think of um, a house, um, a house has a zip code, it has, you know, its address, it has its house number, the street address, those things are unique identifiers to the house. So the house, the, the primary keys to the house would be the zip, the composite primary keys would be the zip code, the house number, the street address, and then you can use it. And then he was like, oh, okay, what if, you know, and then he put me, Kind of argue for primary keys versus this other lady who was there, who is also a DBA. She was arguing against primary keys. So he made it kind of interactive. He's like, you know, argue for um, for why an organization should use primary keys. I put my argument forward, and then the lady argue against it. And he's like, okay, come on, you know, defend your point. Uh -huh. I like defending my point, like you know, using primary key, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, he was, he was just throwing me curveball after curveball. I'm just like, 
primary key, it makes my job faster. I don't know, like, regardless of what's happening, I need to use primary keys because I need to be able to retrieve data fast, give companies what they need because these days it's about speed and retrieve. Yeah, 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 yeah. 